Developing a vaccine that provides greater protection at a reduced cost is the goal of Vaxnumo, a St. Louis startup company. The vaccine is to protect against more strains of bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. The founders of Vaxnumo say this is achieved using the technology they created. Vaxnumo is developing next generation conjugate vaccines against bacterial illnesses. Traditionally, conjugate vaccines are manufactured using a complex synthetic chemistry. However, at Vaxnumo, we're using an innovative bioconjugation platform. Essentially what we've done is we've engineered a lab-safe bacteria called E. coli and turned it into our conjugate vaccine producing factory. Our primary target is conjugate vaccines against Streptococcus pneumoniae. What you hear on the mainstream is pneumococcal pneumonia. So pneumococcal is kind of the street name for the scientific name. And it actually kills 1.5 million people every year. So it's, it's a significant public health burden. Mainly this is a disease of children and the elderly. So of that 1.5 million people, around a million of those are children under the age of five who actually ultimately succumb to this illness. It mainly manifests as, as a pneumonia, so that's an infection of the lower lungs. It's going to have cough, difficulty breathing, fever. Ultimately, it really it severely impacts the lungs. There actually are multiple types of pneumococci, so there's not just one that causes pneumonia. There's actually around 97 different types. So the more broader we can engineer our vaccine to be to cover more types of pneumococci, the better vaccine it'll be because it provides ultimately the patient broader coverage and a better protective immune response. I'm the chief scientific officer, so leading all aspects of kind of scientific innovation. Conjugate vaccine has two parts, a protein carrier and a bacterial polysaccharide, and that's the antigen that your immune system is gonna recognize. That's the part that's gonna train your immune system. So traditionally, that carrier protein and that bacterial polysaccharide are individually purified, and then they have to be married or linked together. And that's done using complex synthetic chemistry. That process is laborious, it's, it's expensive, and sometimes it just doesn't work because the chemicals destroy those molecules. What we do is we harness the power of biology. We have what we've termed a conjugating enzyme, and that enzyme actually marries that bacterial polysaccharide to the protein. So our process is an enzyme-driven process. So it's faster, it's more streamlined, and it's very broad. It doesn't destroy or alter those bacterial polysaccharides. We put everything in E. coli, so these systems are actually broadly distributed amongst many bacteria, but E. coli is a standard kind of workhorse in a laboratory. It's a method patent, and we've patented the process of using our enzyme, so that, that process, that method is what we've patented. We would like to develop a low-cost conjugate vaccine, um, specifically for other areas of the world, the developing world, um, where these vaccines can be quite expensive. So any bit of technology that we can add that'll cut costs or time, then that'll ultimately result in a cheaper pro final product. You'd ideally need the assistance, the help of a large pharmaceutical company to take this product all the way through development and clinical trials. And so they, we, we hope they're very interested and we have had some communications with um, some of them. So what we're doing is de-risking the technology to really garner their interest so that they'll want to form either um, a collaboration or license our technology to make the pneumococcal conjugate vaccines. In the next few years, technically, we could have progressed to a point where we could be entering clinical trials.